you will need hair dryer or heat gun. Squeegee or credit card. Provided microfiber cloth. Let's get started. Start with wiping of your MacBook thoroughly with the provided microfiber cloth. We will start with the top skin. Start by placing the skin on top of the laptop and then peeling the skin off of the backing paper and placing a portion of the skin off of the backing paper. Then align the skin evenly across the top of your MacBook. Once aligned, firmly press the top of the skin down. Then pull off the skin and pull the backing paper away to apply the rest of the top skin. Once the top skin is completely aligned, use a squeegee or credit card to smooth out any bubbles. We will now start on the bottom skin. Wipe back of MacBook thoroughly with the microfiber cloth. Start by placing the skin on top of the laptop and then peeling the skin off of the backing paper and placing a portion of the skin off of the backing paper. Then align the skin with the cutouts. Then firmly press the top of the skin down. Pull out the backing paper and align the skin with the bottom cutouts. Once completely aligned, Use a squeegee or credit card to smooth out any air bubbles. Then use the microfiber cloth to press down and smooth out the edges of the skin. Next, we will do the wrist and trackpad skin.
First open up your MacBook and then wipe it thoroughly with the microfiber cloth. Take off the top section skin first and align it with the pivot point of the MacBook. Once aligned, press down skin to adhere it to the MacBook. We will now remove the trackpad skin from the backing paper. Now align the skin onto your trackpad and smooth it out to adhere. Then we will remove the wrist skins and align them to the speakers and to the bottom corners of the keyboard for the best fit. Now we will end with doing the side skins. Start off with wiping down all the sides of the MacBook. To make the side skin installs easier, have your MacBook propped up against something or in your lap when installing. We will start with the back side skin first. Align skin with the MacBook cut lines. Use your two fingers to guide the skin onto the MacBook in a straight line. Then firmly press the skin down to adhere the skin to the MacBook. We will now apply the corner skins. Align the skin with the MacBook cut lines. Once aligned, press down the skin only on the flat section and then we will use a hair dryer to help adhere the curved sections to the MacBook.
You will repeat the previous steps for the next corner skiing as well. Now, we will do the front side skin. Align the skin with the cutout where you open your MacBook at. Once aligned with the cutout, hide the skin down the top to ensure that it goes on straight. Once in place, smooth out the top of the skin and leave the bottom alone since it will be easier to install with a hairdryer. Now, we will use the hairdryer to adhere the bottom and the corner of the skin. Once heated up, use your thumb to press down one section down at a time to ensure that it doesn't wrinkle or stretch the skin. Now we will apply both right and left side skins. To ensure the best fit, align the skin with the USB port. Once the skin is aligned with the USB ports, smooth out the skin around them so that it doesn't move while trying to align the rest of the skin. Then we will use the hairdryer again to help appear the bottom and corners of the skin. Make sure to press down one section at a time with your thumb to prevent the skin from stretching and wrinkling.
Now repeat the same steps for the other side of the MacBook. Congratulations, you have finished applying your Phantom Skin's MacBook skin. If you have any troubles, feel free to contact us and we will help walk you through the installation.